Assalamu alaikum and good morning CBP students of this institution, Mindanao State University, main campus Marawi City. I am your lecturer for this topic. My name is Archie Jidurig from Mathematics Department. And my topic is all about special products and factoring polynomials. Definition. Let A, B, and C be polynomials. If C equals A, B, then C is called the product of A and B, while A and B are called factors of C. A polynomial is said to be prime if its only polynomial factors are one and itself. It is also said to be in completely factored form if it is written as a product of factors which are or prime except possibly for the numerical coefficient. Example, consider the polynomial x squared plus x minus 2 equals x plus 2 times x minus 1. So in the left side of the equation is the product of the factors x plus 2 times x minus 1. So the binomials x plus 2 and x minus 1 are the prime factors of x squared plus x minus 2. And the process of finding the factors of a given polynomial is called factoring. The following table shows the some special products with its corresponding factors. So the first column stands for the name of that special products. The second column are the factors of that products. And the third column are the corresponding products of that corresponding factors. So first one, we have the square of sum. For any polynomials A, B, C, and D, okay, so A plus B quantity squared, you can also write in this one, A plus B times A plus B. So you're just going to repeat what is inside in the quantity by its corresponding exponents. So the product is A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. And also, in the square of difference, a minus b, quantity squared, is also a minus b times a minus b. And the product of that one is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. On the other hand, the difference of two squares is, ito yun siya, ito yung difference ng dalawang squares. So you have a squared minus b squared. That is why it's called difference of two squares. So its factors is the opposite of the other. So a plus b times a minus b. And also, in the sum of two cubes, ito yung product na ito, you have a cubed plus b cubed. That is why it is called sum of two cubes and its corresponding factors is a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared so kung ano yung operation niya dito ito yung nasa una on the other hand the difference of two cubes almost the same except for the sign so a cube minus B cube, that is why it is called difference of two cubes. And it is this corresponding factors. So negative, then negative. And, and take note, class, that it is not the same with the product of this perfect square trinomials. Itong product na ito. Yan, perfect square trinomials. Next class is the FOIL method. So, FOIL method, FOIL stands for the first terms, the outer terms, 
the inner terms and the last terms. Okay, if we have factors x plus a times x plus b. So first terms times first terms. That is stands for f. So x times x. You have x squared. Then the outer terms. You have x times b. You have bx. Then the inner terms. a times x. You have ax. You have common x. And a times b. You have ab. Okay. So if I have this kind of um, factors, I can also apply the FOIL method. So first terms, AX times CX, you have AC X squared. Then outer, AX times D, you have ADX and B times CX, we have BCX and Finally, for the last terms, B times D, you have BD. Okay, so lastly, for this kind of method, we can apply. So, AX, first terms, AX times CX, ACX squared. The outer terms, AX times DY, you have ADY a, D, X, Y. Then the inner terms, B, Y times C, X. You have B, C, X, Y. And finally, for the last terms, B, Y times D, Y. So you have B, D, Y squared. Example. Example. Find, the product, Find the, product the product of the following using special product formulas. Oh, number one, 3x plus 2 quantity squared. So if we're going to observe using the special product formulas, so using the square of sum formulas, we have a plus b quantity squared is this equals to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. We can express this oh, in this in this way, so ito yung A natin, ito naman yung B. So, if this one, so, the product is this. A squared plus 2 plus 2 AB. So, sabi ko na kanina, ito yung A natin, ito yung B. So, A squared plus 2 AB plus b squared and after that simplify natin so 3 squared is 9 then x squared so we have 9 x squared plus this one is magiging 12 x plus 2 squared is 4 then combine like terms pag wala nang makombine that is the final answer Next, number two, you have 4 s cubed minus 3 t squared, quantity squared. Again, so recall kung ano yung pwedeng formulas from our special product. So using square of difference formula, a minus b quantity squared equals to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So, ito yung A natin, ito naman yung B. Yan, A squared minus 2AB, ito yung B natin, plus B squared. Simplifying further, we have 16, kasi distribute mo yung powers, yung exponent, magiging 16S to the power of 6, minus 24 s cubed t squared plus 9 t to the power of 4. And number 3, you have inside in the quantity negative 1 over 3, 
p squared plus 3q quantity squared. So again, pare-pareho lang siya sa number 1. Then we can use square of sum formula. This whole term, yun yung a natin. At ito naman yung b, the pq. So a squared, yan. A, a squared plus 2 A times B plus the B squared. Then simplifying further using the laws of exponents. So we have positive 1 over 9 maging positive siya dahil distribute natin yung power. So one third, negative 1 third times negative 1 third equals to positive 1 over 9p to the power of 4 minus okay, positive times negative magiging negative so simplifying further that is negative 2p squared q plus ito naman distribute mo yung powers yung exponents you have 9q squared next, exa next example we have 5u cube minus 7b squared quantity times 5u cube plus 7b squared. Okay, is that sounds familiar? Yes. Using the difference of two squares formula, you have, if you have a plus b times a minus b, this is the difference of two squares. Since Multiplication is commutative. It's either way kung ano yung mauna. So, if this is our A, ito yung B natin. A minus B times A plus B. So, in that case, is the square of difference of two squares. So, that is A squared minus B squared. We have A squared minus B squared. And simplifying further, Using the laws of exponents, we have 25u to the power of 6 minus 49v to the power of 4. Then combine like terms. Pag wala nang makombine class, that is the final answer. Number 5. So, this is a bit complicated. So, x squared plus 3, 3y, quantity minus 2z then it's a bar here represent the sign of multiplication another quantity in x squared plus 3y quantity plus 2z so observe carefully kung ano yung special product formulas na ma-apply natin dyan. This one, inside the parenthesis, pwede natin matit as one term. Yan. Dahil pareho lang sila. Then, 2z. So, this is difference of two squares. So, ito yung a natin. a minus b times a plus b. So, that is difference of two squares. a squared minus b squared and simplifying that ito we can express gamit yung square of sum ito yung a ito naman yung b so we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared then simplifying for this, 4z squared. Distributing the power of exponents. So this is x to the power of 4 plus 6x squared y plus 9y squared minus 4z squared. 
Again, kung meron, meron pang makombine, then combine like terms. If not so, then that is the final answer. Number 6, we have 2x plus 5 times 4x squared minus 10x plus 25. And observe what could be the possible special product formulas we can apply in these factors. So since this is positive, so we do not apply dito yung sum of 2 cubes. Yan. Kung ano yung operation dito, ito yung hint natin sa pinakauna na factor. So, this is our A, ito naman yung B. Then, we can express the rest as this term. Okay, yan. So, A plus B, quantity times, we have A squared. We can express 2x squared in terms of A have for this. So that is 2x quantity squared minus AB. So that is 2x times 5 and plus B squared. Then we can express 25 as 5 quantity to the power of 2. So that is now this one expressed as this. Then this is a cube plus b cube. 2x quantity to the power of 3 plus 5 quantity to the power of 3. Simplifying further using the laws of exponents that is 8 x cubed plus 1 to 5. Since obviously we cannot express this or we cannot combine any more terms, so that is the final answer. Another example. Okay, from basic example class to a little bit complicated. So 4x squared minus 1 half y to the power of 4 quantity times 16x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared y4 plus 1 fourth y to the power of 8 quantity. So any hint is this, the sign. So we can express this as a, ito naman is b. So any special product formulas will apply, that is the difference of two cubes formula. So a minus b. Okay, let's find out kung pwede ba natin ito ma-express yung factors na ito in this formula. Okay, so ito yung a minus b. Ito yung b natin. Then, a squared. Pwede. 16x to the power of 4 is this one plus okay 2x squared y to the power of 4 can we express that as the product of ab yes that is correct so we can we can have 4x squared times 1 half y to the power of 4 is just equals to this 2x squared y to the power of 4 plus 1 fourth y to the power of 8 is our b squared then after expressing this one in this way so we can proceed to the product okay a cube minus b cube. Simplifying further using the laws of exponents, we have 64x to the power of 6 minus 18y to the power of 12. And since no more like terms can be combined, that is the final answer. 
Next example, number 8. So, this is x squared minus 3y squared times x to the power of 4 plus 3x squared y squared plus 9y to the power of 4. Okay, any formula we use? This is our hint. So let's try if we can apply the difference of two cubes in these factors. This is our A and B. That is A minus B. A minus B. Then A squared plus AB plus B squared. X to the power of 4 can be expressed in this way. In terms of A plus the product of AB. So this is A times B plus B squared. Yung B natin is we can express this 9y to the power of 4 as 3y squared quantity to the power of 2. So since na express natin yan in this way, we can proceed to the product A cube minus B cube. That is A cube minus B cube. Simplify and further using the laws of exponents. X to the power of 6 minus 27Y to the power of 6. And that is the final answer. For our next example, we have X plus 5 times X plus 7. So in here, we cannot apply those special product formulas. So we will instead use the FOIL method. So first times first, that is x times x, we have x squared. Then the outer, x times 7, that is 7x. And the inner is 5 times x, that is 5x. Then combine 7 plus 5, labas natin yung common lana x. And for the last terms, we have 5 times 7. So that is x squared plus 12x plus 35. And that is the final answer. Next, 3x plus 5 times 2x minus 7. So again, we cannot use this special product formulas. We will instead use the FOIL method. It is 3, 3x times 2x is here. Then the outer 3x times negative 7. That is 3 times negative 7. Labas natin yung x. 5 times 2x is 5 times 2 kasi common lang yung x separate natin yung x then 5 times negative 7 is this for the last terms further this is 6x squared plus negative 21 plus 10 quantities x minus 35 6x squared minus 11x minus 35. And another example. 5u minus 1 times 4u plus 2. Again, we cannot use the special product formulas. We'll instead use the FOIL method. So let's the first times first. The outer times the outer, and the inner times the inner, negative 1 for u, plus negative 1, the last terms, times positive 2. 
that is simplifying further 20u squared plus 6u minus 2. Since this is no more like terms to be combined, that is the final answer. Next is 12x minus 3y quantity times 5x minus 2y quantity. There are yours using FOIL method, we can apply this in this way. So first term, yan, the outer terms, 2x and negative 2y is here. Then the middle term, negative 3y times positive 5x plus the last terms, negative 3y times negative 2y. Negative 3, negative 2, then y squared. Simplifying that, you have 10x squared minus 19xy plus 6y squared. This time class is we're going to find the factor of the given or the given product. For example, x squared minus 16. So, I believe we can apply here some special product formula. And that is square of difference formula. a squared minus b squared. This is our a, the x squared, and 16 is our b squared. So applying the formula, x squared minus 4 squared, this is equal to x minus 4 and x times 4. And this is now the final answer. Since a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Next, 81 minus a squared over 4 b squared. So, take note, 81 is a square and a squared over 40 squared is also a square. So, this is also square of difference. Using this formula, we can obtain, express nothing it was in terms of a squared minus b squared. This is 9 squared minus, okay, s over 2t quantity to the power of 2. Ito na yung a natin, a squared, ito yung b squared. And since this one, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So, a minus b times a plus b. Regardless the order, since multiplication is commutative. This is the final answer. Number five. 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. So observe that our given class is the first term is a perfect square and the last term is a perfect square. So we can apply the perfect square trinomial formula a squared plus 2ab plus b squared or the square of sum formula X is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and since if this is our product then this is the factor so this is our a this is our b so a plus B is this. This equals to 2x plus 1 
times 2x. Next example. 8 to the power of 2n minus 6. a to the power of n. b to the power of n plus 9. b to the power of 2n. So as we can see in the first term is a perfect square and the last term is also a perfect square. So we can use perfect square trinomial in the form of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So this is our a squared and the b squared. So that is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Applying this formula. Since a squared minus 2ab plus b squared equals the quantity a minus b to the power of 2. And that is a to the n minus 3b to the n quantity to the power of 2 equals this one. Our a, our b. a, b. And and that is the factor of this product. Next example. 9 cubed minus 1. This is difference of 2 cubes. A cubed minus B cubed. Applying this formula, we have... 9 cube minus 1 cube, since 1 cube is just 1. And if I have, since a cube minus b cube equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So applying this, this is our a and our b. So, m minus 1, this is our a, and we have a squared, which is m squared, plus a b, this one a b, our a is m, and 1 is b, so 1 times m plus the b squared is the 1 squared. Simplifying inside uh, the parentheses, that is m minus 1 quantity times m squared plus m plus 1. And this is the factor of this product. Next example, we have 1 over 8 plus x cubed y cubed. Observe that the first term, we can express in terms of cube and also the second term x cube y cube can be also expressed in terms of cube so this would be this would be sum of two cubes you have a cube plus b cube so expressing our given into this form we have one half quantity to the power of 3 plus the quantity xy raised to the power of 3. Since a cube plus b cube equals a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So this we can express ito yung a natin. a plus b times okay our a squared, since this is our a, a squared minus ab. Yan, ab, this is our a, a, and b, b. Plus b squared, b squared. 
or simplifying all inside the parentheses, we have arrived to this. For the next example, 27 plus 8 over x cubed. So observe carefully, 27 we can express in terms of cubes and 8 over x cubed is, can be also expressed in terms of cube. So since the operation is addition, we can use formula sum of two cubes. A cube plus B cube, expressing this given into this A cube plus B cube. This is A cube plus B cube. Since A cube plus B cube equals A plus B quantity, or A plus B times A squared minus AB plus B squared. So this is our A, and this is our B. So A plus B. So 3 plus 2 over X quantity. Then A squared minus AB, our A and our B. So this is 3 times 2 over X plus the B squared. So our B here is 2 over X. So 2 over X parenthesis to the power of 2. So simplifying inside this parenthesis, we obtain this factors. Next example, we have x to the power of 6 minus 64y to the power of 6. Observe that from our given example, we can use either the difference of two squares or the difference of two cubes formula. So first, we'll solve this using difference of two cubes formula. So, uh, this is a cubed minus b cubed equals ab times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So, let us now express this given to a cubed minus b cubed. This is our a and this is our b. So, we have a cubed minus b cubed. And if this, so we can derive into this. So, this is A minus B. This is our A, our B. So, we have A minus B times in the quantity of A squared plus AB plus B squared. Then, take note that we can also express x squared minus 4y squared as difference of those squares with our a is x and our b is 2y. So we have now x plus 2y since this is our a and our b. So this is a plus b times a minus b and simplify this that is the final answer or yeah, as I said earlier we can solve this one using difference of two squares expressing that we have x cubed as our a and 8y cubed as our b. So, a squared minus b squared. So, if this one, so we can have this factor. So, a, b, so this is a plus b times a minus b. And take note that each one of them is 
cube. So this is sum of two cubes and difference of two cubes. So using sum and difference of two cubes formula, this is our A, X is our A, and our B here is the tau Y. The same here is A is X and B is tau Y. Following the formula, we derive to these factors. This is A plus B is our A, A squared minus the AB plus the B squared. For this one, you have A minus B times our A squared plus AB since our A is here. So x times 2y have 2xy and for the b squared this one so that is the final answer all right before we proceed to the next example let me give you first some guidelines in factoring using the foil method or the trial and error method and factoring by group Okay, factoring trinomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are integers not equal to zero, this method of factoring a trinomial is called the FOIL method or the trial and error method. It may be necessary for you to try several cases before to obtain the correct combination of factors. So here are some guidelines. First, before factoring, arrange the terms in the trinomial in descending powers if coefficient of A is positive and in descending powers if A is negative. So if the, the coefficient of A, if it is positive, then arrange in descending powers. If A is negative, then arrange the trinomial in ascending. There be select a pair of factors from the first term to last term. The sum of the inner and outer products must be equal to the middle term of the given trinomial. The product of the first term of each of the factors must be equal to the first term of the given trinomial. The product of the last term in each of the factors must be equal to the last term of the given trinomial. Now, if the last and the middle terms of the trinomial are both positive, then the factor is of the form of this, since they are both positive. If the last term is positive and the middle term is negative, the factor is of the form in this one. If the last term is negative, the factor would be either of this form. And factoring by group, when a polynomial has more than three terms, it may be possible to group in terms in such a way that each group has common factor. Then applying the removal of the greatest common factor and other factoring techniques may be used to simplify the expression further. Example, 3x squared minus 10x minus 8. So, applying the FOIL method or the trial and error method, let us observe 3x squared. The factor would be 3x and x. And in the last term, we can have the factor of 8 as 1 times 8 or 4 times 2. Since negative yan, since this is, the sign is negative, so it could be negative 2 times 4 or positive 4 times negative 2. So applying the trial and error, 
we obtain the factor 3x plus 2 times x minus 4. x squared plus 4x minus 12. Then x squared, the factor of x squared are x times x. And in the last term, the factor of 12 could, could be 1 times 12 or 6 times 2 or 3 times 4. And since this is negative, so yung last term natin is a negative. We obtain x plus 6 times x minus 2. Another one, x squared plus 13x plus 12. Again, applying trial and error method, you can obtain x plus 12 and x plus 1. Since pareho silang positive, so the factor is also in positive. And next, x squared minus 8x plus 12. So our middle term is negative. So our factor is both negative. That is why we have x minus 6 and x minus 2. Next example, we have 3x squared plus 7x minus 6xy minus 14. So we have two variables here, x and y. So we cannot apply those special product formulas. And so with the trial and error method or the FOIL method. So assign what are those terms that we're going to group. So let us say, let us group this one as one group and this for another group. Since this is negative, negative, so ilabas natin yung negative. So we have obtain this and using the removal of the greatest common factor since merong meron tayong common dito na x so ilabas natin yung x and dito naman is yung 2y and take note that meron silang common na 3x plus 7 and 3x plus 7 so we're going to remove 3x plus 7 yung naiwan na lang is x minus 2y so we have the factor now 3x plus 7 times x minus 2y. And that is the final answer. Next, x squared minus 8xy plus 16y squared minus 36a squared plus 12ab minus b squared. Take note that marami na tayong mga variable na involved. We have x, y, and a, b. So we are group this. Group natin ito. Ito naman is another group. And we come up with this. And applying our special product and factoring for this term and for this another group. So we have square of difference and another square of difference. This is our A and our B. Ito naman is ito yung A and B. So we have now a perfect square trinomial and also a perfect square trinomial. So we can have x minus 4y quantity squared minus 6a minus b quantity squared and we can treat this one as a one term and also other terms so it's just like a squared minus b squared so we can apply difference of two squares okay this is our a and our b so a plus b and a minus b. Simplifying further inside in the parentheses, so we have 
distribute lang yung positive sign. We come up with this. And this one here, distribute the negative sign. Come negative 6A, negative times negative B, positive B. That is the final answer. Another example, 8x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3xy minus 2y squared minus y cubed. So, we cannot apply those special product formula, so we'll use factoring. We will group 8x cubed and negative y cubed as uh, one group and the rest is another group. And take note that this is difference of two cubes. And also we'll factor that other. So we can obtain this. And further, since Meron's common class, so we'll use removal of the GCF, which is 2x minus y. So labas natin yung 2x minus y from this group and this one. So we have 2x minus y. Yan. Nasa labas yan ng parenthesis. Which is x plus 2y parenthesis plus 4x squared plus 2xy plus y squared parenthesis. Then simplify for natin yan. Combine like terms. We obtain these factors. And this is the final answer. Next, 4x to the power of 4 minus x squared plus 6xy minus 9y squared. Okay, so group natin yung ito na group since 4x to the power of 4 is wala siyang kapareho. Set aside natin siya. And squaring this, we come up with this one. And the factor of this group is this one. And I believe this is difference of two squares. So applying those formula, we obtain. This is our A and our B. So we have A squared minus B squared. So A plus b times a minus b. Then simplify inside of each parenthesis. We obtain this factor. Okay, last one. x squared plus 6xy plus 9y squared minus x minus 3y minus 6. And if by group po natin siya, set natin ito as a one group. And this also for another group at saka yung coefficient na 6. And from this plus 3y squared, then minus x plus 3y minus 6. So we'll use this as a one term. Suppose this is a, a squared minus a minus 6. So, we can factor that out in this way. x plus 3y minus 3 and x plus 3y plus 2. Simplifying further, that is x plus 3y minus 3 and x plus 3y plus 2. That is the final answer.